Hi everyone, Colin Shevel back for my first video uh, showcasing uh, the finished pieces that I've made this summer. Um, I'm going to start the series off with all the bowls that I made. And uh, I have to put a little uh, warning out here on this video. I always write down every single glaze that I use on every single piece and I take a picture of it so I can see what goes with what. Uh, so I know exactly what the glazes that I'm using on each piece. And I did it for this one as well. And then I, I when I put everything in the kiln, I was cleaning up and I just threw all my lists away. So I have no idea what these glazes are, what combination they are. And I do for all the other uh, pieces that I'll be showing in future videos. But for these bowls, we're just going to appreciate them for their natural beauty. So uh, bear with me and, and I hope you just enjoy the colors. All right, so this first bowl you see here is uh, the one that's actually I did in my YouTube video. It's called Cutout Bowl Number 2. Um, you can recognize the uh, intricate cutout shapes I did here. This is a, a mixture of a couple different glazes. All these glazes I'm using here are uh, Amico uh, Potter's Choice glazes, and they've all been layered uh, using uh, the techniques I found on their website where you put a base coat down of, uh, you know, they have Blue Midnight, Fire Brick Red, uh, Deep Olive Speckle, um, and then you put a, another coat on top of it, and you get these really weird almost, uh, you know, dripping color variations. So this is a bowl that I did off camera um, along with this one as well. I did a couple off camera that I, I just wanted to show in videos that I did as well. This has turned out to be a really nice piece with these cutouts almost like arms holding up the edge. Um, but this nice blue really brought out the uh, texture that I used from the chatter tool. Um, so this turned out to be a nice piece as well. But these, I really like these high fire uh, Potter's Choice glazes. There's just endless combinations you can use and you can just do so many cool things with them. And you know, the more you buy, the more combinations you get. So, uh, this next one I did here was also off camera. These were some smaller ones that I did. Just I had some clay left over at the end, so I just kind of threw them together. But um, I think this one has a, a deep fire brick uh, underglaze with a little blue rutile or maybe some uh, tourmaline on top of it. Um, but anytime you have uh, ridges like where all the where all the cutouts are, these little like uh, divots I put in the middle, you get some really nice color variations. And uh, anytime the the glaze gets lopped up like it does in these little things that it, it tends to drip down a lot too so I, I like the look of it this is another small one that I did uh, off camera as well um, I'm, again I'm not I wish I wish I would have kept in my sheet that that had the color combinations here in future videos I will but I'll be able to tell you exactly what combinations I use but um, this one I think has a uh, another fire brick or maybe um, blue teal underneath it uh, and then another place on top which again I'm not too sure this one uh, I did do on camera. This is cutout bowl number one. Um, you can recognize the, the nice texture on the inside and the outside. I think it's great. I like when I can get the, that chatter box on the inside as well. And these little circles seem to hold that up and make it seem a lot lighter than it is. So nice dark deep colored on this one. Little green specks in there as well. This last one coming up is my biggest and my favorite of all the pieces that I did. Uh, and I did this one off camera as well, but it's pretty big. It's a giant mixing bowl, and the colors on this are just amazing. This green that dripped down here it really gooped up and just made some awesome color combinations here. And viewed from above and from the side, this thing is just awesome. Look, look at the, the way this thing just drips and has all these color variations in it. Um, really super happy with this piece and the way it turned out. So uh, Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching these uh, finished bowls here, and I hope you'll come back and watch some more of the pieces that I update here. I have a, a whole batch of small vases that I finished uh, that are a lot more from the, the YouTube videos that I've done. So you'll get to kind of see the before and, and the after. So come back and watch some more and keep liking, keep commenting, and uh, keep posting on Facebook and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.